hi friends welcome back to my channel it's real one here so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a profitable facebook business page with your smartphone well i've gone through many videos on youtube and what i discovered is that all the trainings on youtube about how to create facebook business page 80 percent of those videos are done with either a laptop or a desktop computer right but I am going to solve a problem here by making use of my smartphone and I will show you guys the step by step procedure that you can use to create your own Facebook page using your smartphone, right? So we are going to go straight into the video in proper. So if you are coming across this channel for the first time before we go into the video, remember to subscribe to this channel and then make sure you turn on your post notification so whenever i post related videos you are going to be notified and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back before you start running a facebook ad you need to own a business page so from there you get started and then you now start to source for your right audience and then you start creating your ad on facebook right to create your facebook page with your phone you are going to need the official facebook app the official facebook app which is this one as you can see it's right there right if you are using facebook lights to create a facebook page although you'll be able to create the page but you won't see some features on facebook lights while creating your page right so the features on the official facebook app is very very complete everything that you need to make your page look so beautiful is right on the official app so that is why i will advise you to make use of the official facebook app so right now i am going to be using a brand new facebook account to do this tutorial for you guys so that you guys won't have any issue trying to create your facebook page right because i already have some pages on my normal facebook uh, account so i decided to create this new account for you guys so i will be able to treat everything from a to z right so when you get to the very first page of your facebook account you see up here you are going to see your profile picture right there right when you are using the official facebook app you click there below you see pages click on pages so if you do not have any page on this facebook account before you see this place blank and you see a button that will say create a page right but my official facebook account is where i created these two pages but i'm using this uh, new account to manage them right when you get here you see the create button if you have a page already then this is where you see your create right you click on it and when you click on it below the page you are going to see get started then you want to click on get started all right the first thing they are going to ask from you is your page name right so please guys take note of one thing they said read the instruction properly use the name of your business brand or organization or a name that helps explain your page right so you must use a name that best describe exactly what your page is into right like you need to use a name that describes exactly what you are using this page for so if you want to present yourself to people as an individual then you make use of your name right here but if you want to present yourself to people as an agency or an enterprise or an industry or a company then you use your company name or your brand name in this particular place right so i am going to use a name let me just say um easy brands or easy branding right easy branding right i'll just use this easy branding all right so let me use this so uh let's assume this is my business name right so once you are done doing that you just want to click on next below right so if you don't know a name to use if you don't know the name to use for your business you can use your own personal name right you can still present yourself to people as an individual for the main time before you get a business name and if you need any guide getting a business name there is a video right here on my youtube channel 
that shows you how to get a unique business name right so go over and watch the video it's a short video so you see it among my shots right so watch the video and you'll be able to get your own unique business name within a very short period of time right so now this is my business name so i'll click on next all right this is a very very important part when you are creating a facebook business page right you see what category best describe easy branding now facebook is referring to you as your business name easy branding right remember that was the name that i gave to to facebook as my uh, page name right now it says a category will help you find this page it will help people find this page in search results right so you can see that if your facebook page doesn't make use of the right category then when people search for anything related to that category your page is not going to show up so and that is where search engine optimization starts from right you must have been hearing of seo it all starts from here now you can see the categories listed below if your category if your business category is not listed below you just have to search for it right easy branding anything branding that deals with designing right graphic let's say graphics designer right and then anyway i just use that business name i'm just gonna leave it as let me see if there's anything like branding is there anything like branding no is there anything like designing agency no is there anything like design agency designer okay designer all right i'm just going to leave this two category right now so please make sure that the business name that you use is tally with the category that you are going to use right so don't go and use category that doesn't even relate to what you want to offer on your facebook business page because your page is not going to show up in search results so make sure you make research very very well so you know the kind of category to use immediately you start typing any category that you want facebook is going to bring out suggestions if you cannot find any suggestion that matches your category or your choice you can try any other suggestion until you get the right suggestion from our facebook all right so now i'm going to continue with these two categories i'll click on create right now and once you click on create this is going to be the next page now the first thing you want to do is input biography for your page you see finishing setup on your page success you've created easy branding now add more details to help people connect with you right now this general part is where you input your biography your contacts your location and other things right so i'm just going to input a biography this biography must describe exactly what you are offering on your page right it must describe your service or your product if you are selling a physical product then you should input your product right there you should explain exactly what your product does how can your product help the people because that is what is going to convince them to actually follow your page right so here i'm just going to input let's let's grow your business with with stunning designs right so i'm just going to leave this like this so if you are thinking of a description to use for your page if you're thinking of how do i get description like i can't brainstorm i can't suggest i can't think <laughs> i can't think something that would be okay you know so you don't have any problem let me give you one secret at the end of this video i'll show you a secret right i'll show you how you can get description for anything you want to write like anything like you just need some kind of content and you'll be thinking of how do i get content for this particular thing you don't need to be cracking your brain so at the end of this video i'll show you some secrets to get that done so we we'll still need that when you are dealing with facebook ads right because you have to create content with your ad right so if you are not able to create good content with your ad then the ad might not convert right so now i'll proceed contacts 
so ranging from the website if you have a website already you can input your website url right but do remember i create websites so if you need a website contact me it's not cost very very cheap so if you don't have a website you can just copy your youtube link or your facebook profile link or probably just any link all right it might even be your instagram link and you paste it there right so if you don't have any of this then you can leave it blank so here you want to input your email address and then you want to input your phone number you have to make use of your country code so here you want to set your location right so your address you can input your recent address all right and your zip code so once you are done with all that then you want to create your business hours right so you can decide to say you are always open right you are always ready to take orders then you click on next your profile picture is one of the first thing people see try using your logo or a simple image you can easily associate with right you can decide to use your personal picture that is if you are presenting yourself as an individual right but if you are presenting yourself as an enterprise an agency or a company then you should use your company's logo right so for this page i will be presenting myself as an enterprise as a, as a company as an agency right a graphic design agency so i'll be creating a profile picture and i'll be creating uh, a, a cover picture right so edit action button as you can see here this will help you to add a call to action button to your page right so this is very very important as well because uh if people come across your page and they just view whatever they want to view and they find your page interesting how would they contact you if you do not add this action button so the action button might lead them to whatsapp it might lead them to your youtube channel it might lead them to your instagram page it might lead them to wherever you want them to go it might even lead them to your messenger inbox right it depends on where exactly you want them to go when they click that link so i'm just going to click on edit action button all right so when you click on edit action button this page is going to load up all right you wait for the page to load up properly so when it's load up then you click on try it below all right try it so when you click on try it you will see a whole lot of options for you to choose from you can decide to use sign up button start order button right you can decide to use view shop you can decide to use get tickets right and there's a way you can create free form and if you have a full functioning website you can integrate the form into your website and then bring up the link to that form bring it here and then let them click on the sign up button and go and fill that form then from there you generate lead right and then start order it's going to help them open websites for a restaurant uh, a fashion company or whatsoever it is right so that is how they use that and then view shop is going to take them directly to where they will view more products of yours right they'll see more services that you offer right and they will see more product that you sell and then get tickets this is used for events right as the name implies so if you are planning to you know if you are organizing an event and it is uh let's say closer or you are selling a ticket for that event then you can use the get ticket button right so and then for the message you can see this is selected by default that means they will be able to message you via facebook messenger and then send whatsapp message which is the one i love most it's going to help them to contact you via whatsapp directly to your whatsapp dm all right so once they click on the button they are coming straight to your whatsapp dm very very fast all right and then you see another option call now so this will enable them to place a call right they will call you directly and then send email they will contact you via email address contact us you can decide to lead them to anywhere with this button right you can decide to take them to whatsapp you can take them to your website in this video i am going to be using the send whatsapp message button 
which is this particular one right we still have a lot more button we have learn more we have watch now we have visit group play game buy now reserve and more right but in this video i'll be using send whatsapp message which is the best option for you all right so when you select it you click next below and then you want to input the whatsapp number that they are sending that message to right so let me input my whatsapp number but please take note when you are inputting the number here when you want to insert the number here remove the first zero right if you are a nigerian remove the first zero right and then they will send a code to that particular number below you see send code so they will send the code to you via whatsapp take note guys they are sending the code via whatsapp because you are actually confirming that this is your whatsapp number all right it's 3575 so i'm just going to input the code and then save all right guys i've been able to integrate the button into my page right now so i want to click on next the next thing i'm supposed to do is adding my profile picture and my cover image right but i will not be doing that right now because this tutorial is going to be a step-by-step -step one as i have said earlier so it's going to be a one kind long tutorial because i want to break everything down for you i'll show you how to create your own uh free logo for your page if you want it for your business and i'll show you how to create your cover image right so click on next and then you want to build your page audience if you are ready to invite your friends to like your page right now then you can go ahead and do so but you want your page to look amazing you want it to look beautiful before you start inviting friends to like the page so you just want to click on next and then done so wait while facebook is loading your page all right so you can decide to take some tour facebook is going to show you how to edit your page how to do some things on your page if you want to take the tour you, you click on take tour if, there, if there's anything that you don't understand about facebook page then you understand it right there click on next 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 and done all right so the page is loading right now so guys this might take a little bit long time to load up just wait for it to finish loading right but if you wait too long if it doesn't load fast you have to click on this arrow up here right click on the arrow to go back the page is already created so what you want to do next is customization right and guys as you can see the page has loaded up successfully so you want to click on this menu icon up here so once you click there you are going to see the page right there so the facebook app has successfully switched to the page click on that particular place and then wait while it loads all right if it keeps on loading just slide down on the page right slide from the top and slide down all right slide down in this manner just slide down and then it's going to reload automatically and it's going to show up like this right so you can see the very first suggestion complete your page to grow your audience right so we want to update some things on our page of course we are yet to input our private picture and we are yet to insert the cover image right so that those things are going to be the very first things that we'll be doing right now okay so you can see our page is now live professionally all right so the first thing we want to do is making sure that we input our profile images right and input our username right so that there is something people do misput together when you're talking of business page right so people do mix these two things together page name and username right the difference between page name and username the page name is what shows up here that you can see easy branding right and the username is that particular at so when we're talking of at real one digitals at easy branding that is username so people can actually locate your business with your page name and they can still locate it with your username but when you are giving people the link to your 
facebook business page or any page of yours if you are giving people the link to the page you don't make use of the business name you make use of the username right and that is how functioning the username is that is why you need the username all right so i'll be showing you how to get your page username as well so you can also be using ads something right so if you decide to put at at the front of this now username doesn't have spaces normally but this is having spaces in between the easy and the branding there's a space right so that is the difference between page name and username if you are creating an instagram page as well there's going to be a page name and there's going to be a username so now let's get started customizing our business page right the first thing you want to do is click on manage so facebook is going to suggest some other things that you need to do to make your page setup completed right so now you want to click on continue here so guys please make sure you use the official facebook app so it's going to help you a lot right now the first thing facebook recommends is adding a profile picture right and adding a cover photo now i am going to show you guys how to create your own business logo very very soft and fast right and i'll show you how to create a cover photo for your facebook page so right now we are going to go to our canva app that is the fastest tool that i'll introduce to you guys right so you can use canva to create whatsoever you want to create even without having any experience or any skill in graphic design right you can create you can design anything without having any experience of graphic designing all right what you want to do is open your canva app i'm actually using canva pro right so if you need the pro accounts of canva then you can message me on whatsapp with the number showing on the screen right now so message me on whatsapp and i'll give you access to a canva pro account right so now i am going to search for facebook cover right facebook cover that is exactly what i want to create all right you can see a whole lot of suggestions that i got so i just have to choose one that really fits exactly what i'm offering on my business page right so i'm offering graphic design right so i'll just look for one that will be very very okay for exactly what i'm offering so i'll just do some simple editings and i'll paste it on the page all right let me just use something very very simple like this you can see i got uh, a whole lot of suggestions and all of them are just free for me now because i'm, I'm using the premium uh, account of canva right so you can need this as well even without having experience in graphic design you can contact me for yours right now you get a pro account on canva all right this is the design that i choose i'm just going to do some simple editing on this right now so i don't need to edit uh i don't need to edit a whole lot of things here because i already got exactly what i want so i'm just going to change this text let's talk business uh let's talk business i think this is even okay this is okay uh there's going to be another tutorial on canva right so i'll explain to you guys how to use uh the canva app properly if you want to get yourself involved in graphic design in full then you can come into my dm on whatsapp to purchase my smartphone graphic design course i'm still giving it out at a discount price for now all right so i'm going to leave this just like this i love it like this let's talk business very very simple and i'll be saving it up here so you see a lot of templates as well if you want to edit anything on the template you can click on the text let's assume i want to edit the text click on it and when you click on it you see the edit icon below click on it and then you'll be able to edit the text or you can simply double tap on the text to edit it so let's talk about designs i can decide to change it so let's talk about designs right so but i still love let's talk business so uh if you actually want to change the color of the text you see it right here scroll the below menus to the right and you see a lot more options right so let us want to change this to color yellow you can see the color has changed successfully and you can even decide to change the fonts fonts uh style right you click on fonts 
and you can choose another font right here all right so this is also okay by me it's not bad it's not bad i can leave this and then once i'm done editing uh anything that i want to edit right here i'll decide to click on the save icon up here so you can click here to download it once and for all you can download it from here as well but the quality is going to be very very low all right so i recommend you make use of this second icon all right so it serves as upload but you can actually download from there as well so you click on download and then here you can set the quality that you want you can set the size that you want the image to be right so you want to increase the size a little bit if you are using the premium version i mean if you are using a pro account of canva you'll be able to increase it to the maximum size right but if you are not using a pro account if you are using a free account you'll be able to just use the the default size right so i'm going to increase it to the maximum size so that the picture will be sharp very very well so and then i'll click on download so we wait while our design is exporting so and uh, now i'm done with my cover design the next thing i'll be doing is creating my logo right the logo for my page which is very very simple so i'm just going to search for you search for logo that relates to what you are offering right if you are if you created your page for skincare product then you search for skincare product logo or skincare logo or something related to that right so i created the page for graphic design i just say graphic designer logo something like that and then i will get a whole lot of suggestions right so i can just choose from any of these suggestions right now and make use of it as my logo so i'll just make some editings on it let me see if there is any i can just make use of this simple design i think i love it all right the design has successfully load up right now so i'll just edit the names on the design right now you already know how to edit your designs on canva easy branding that is the name of my page right so this is going to be the slogan right easy designs to something like that easy branding easy designs right so i think i'm going to be using this right now on my facebook page as my logo right so let me reduce the size and now i'll save this using the same procedure that we used to save our cover design right and download so the design is saved now so what we want to do right now is go back to our facebook page to add our profile picture and our cover photo right now so as i have said earlier i'll be doing everything with my smartphone because i want to show you guys how easy it is to actually own a business page with your smartphone so if you don't have access to a laptop yet there's no limitation in what you can achieve no excuse right so just click on add a profile picture and then now this is our profile picture right that was our design and then you click on done above right so this is the profile picture you can decide to increase the size of the picture like the way you want the picture to fix into the circle on the page right you can decide to increase how bold is going to be so this kind of thing that i'll be doing right now you cannot do it when you use facebook lights to create your page you cannot do it there so facebook light is going to fix the picture for you automatically but here on the official facebook app you can fix it the way you want so you can decide to zoom the picture a little bit and you can decide to leave it by default right so i'll leave it by default and i'll save up here so after adding the profile picture you can see the profile picture is uploading 
that's the message we got below the page now the next thing we want to do is adding a cover photo right we've got the design already we just want to select the design and click on done and you can see this is the design it fits exactly what we want now click on save so the cover photo is uploading as well so wait all right cover photo was uploaded successfully and then the next thing we want to do is to add link to our website as i have said earlier if you have a website already you can add it if you don't have a website you can add any other link like your instagram link your youtube channel link your whatsapp links as well can stay there if you want to decide to leave it blank you can leave it blank right you can create a welcome post for your new audience right once you are done doing whatsoever you want to do right here then you can close this page and then refresh your page you can see we are now having the logo and we are having the cover image right so very very awesome guys and as you can see this was the category that we selected graphic designer so you can see this is the cover photo that we just uploaded and the logo that we just uploaded is this and now view your page as a visitor like when people visit your page how will your page look to them right so you click here and you see view as so click on view as so your page is going to switch as if you are like a visitor and as you can see so this is exactly how your page is going to show to your visitors right when new people visit your page or probably your followers right this is how the page is going to look to them so they will see the whatsapp button right here which i explained earlier once they click there they are coming straight to your whatsapp dm and they will see everything that has to do with your business right on your page so once you are done checking the preview you can exit the view right here now how do you create a username i told you the difference between page name and username right now you need to get your username you have a page name already but you need a username you cannot do that on the app you need to go over to your browser and log into your facebook account on your browser to get your username we are going to do the practical right now So we need to make use of either a laptop or a desktop computer to you know create a username on our facebook page so i'm just going to log into my facebook account that is the main account on which i created the page right that's where i'm going to log in into so let's do it real quick so now you are just going to scroll down on the desktop view and this is our page as you can see right here so this is our page here easy brand right so you want to click on it to open the page all right you are going to get the page out like this as you can see all right so the logo is here to load up but because of our time i'm going to do all uh, the stuff real quick right so you just have to switch to the page right now before you can edit anything on the page As you can see you have to switch before you can manage the page switch into easy branding page to start managing it that is what you have to do so when you switch to the page you'll be able to change whatever you want to change on the page after switching to your page you see up here you see the profile picture of your page up here you can see up here so you want to click on the picture and then you click on settings and privacy settings and privacy then you click on settings and then you wait you are going to land on this page right so and this is exactly where we are going to right so you can see username it says you have not set a username right you just want to click on this edit at the front of it so once you click on edit then you want to add your username right here right so now just 
enter the username of your choice into the box easy branding sorry easy branding so we are going to check if the username is available all right so if the username is not available you get a message that says this username is not available then you should try another username easy brands wow easy brands is available right then i can use easy brand as my username for this particular page right whenever you want to send anybody to your facebook page you don't need to copy all the whole link in the url and send to the person so the person can visit your page you just need to write facebook.com forward slash easy brands so after that you just want to click on save changes so once you click on save changes facebook has successfully saved your page username and you can see this is now the link to your facebook page and now you can now log out of uh the web view right you can do whatsoever you want to do on the mobile phone so only uh the creation of your username is going to be done with either a laptop or a desktop computer let me quickly touch this for you guys there might be an error when you were creating the page and you just decide to you know change the name for the page right so there's a way you can do that as well initially it was very very easy but uh facebook updated a lot of things right now and while you are on your page you can see this is our page right so while you are here you just need to click on the profile picture up there all right and then you scroll down you see settings and privacy you click on settings and privacy and then you want to click on settings so this is where you do the page settings click up there and then you can see name here right easy branding so you can just click there to change the name of your page right but take note that if you change your name on facebook now you can't change it again till the next seven days right but i do not recommend you keep changing your facebook page name so it's not okay that way as it will reduce your search results right you might not be available uh really much when people search for you right because that means you are confusing the machine you understand so it's a machine that is handling all these stuff for us on facebook so you are trying to confuse the machine then the machine won't know exactly what to do to your page right so and then i'll click on review changes or review change so you'll be asked to input the password for your facebook account just input the password normally and then save changes so if you click up here now so you can see easy branding is still there that's simply because facebook is still reviewing the name right easy brands it's reviewing the name once the name is approved i'm going to find the name on my page same on that setting you go there and then you see linked accounts right you can see what it says manage whatsapp link and instagram account right so click there and then you want to link an instagram account and a whatsapp account right you can see right now there's no instagram account connected with this facebook page but there's already a whatsapp account connected with it right so you need the boots to be connected i've connected the whatsapp accounts then i'm going to connect the instagram accounts well i will not be doing that because i'm actually using this page as an example for you guys so you guys should go over there and connect everything together with each other because they are going to help each other for your business greatness right now here is my gift for you all who stay till this moment of the video stop cracking your brain to write things stop cracking your brain to get a great copy right start using this website instead use copy.ai jasper.ai ezanarticles.com shortly.ai copysmith.ai writesonic.com stazi.ai closer copy and we have a lot more enjoy the rest of the week so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video please do remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification so whenever i drop any other related content youtube is going to notify you i'll see you in the next video